Oh wow. Hey guys, we have two awesome events coming up that we will be attending. Mustangs at Daytona, which is in Daytona Beach, Florida. Here's the schedule. I have more info down in the description. Then two weeks after that, we have Mustang Week. Definitely go check out these two events. We will have a booth at Mustangs at Daytona. You can get merch, see the cars. We're trying to get as many cars done as possible for them. And we'll see you there. Mustang Week, we will also see you there. That is two weeks after this. But let's get back to the video and hopefully we'll see you there. So you wanna go to war with me? You're talking like you think you're royalty. You think that I'm afraid, but I don't break. I heard you question my stability. You think I'll fall just like a guillotine. What is going on guys? We are back with another video. We got the Fox. We've already been working on tearing it out. Engine should be out on the ground in a few minutes. Brad's been working on it. I picked someone up from the airport. Your guys' favorite northerner, John Broussard. This guy is just chilling in the AC over here. Still hot as nuts in here, don't let him fool you. <laughs> so uh, what are we doing for the race car? I have no clue. I done blew it up. A stock motor in her. Gen 3. Gen 3. The old Gen 1 truck motor. It was oil. Yeah. Beyond oil. I'm excited to see the damage, the teardown. I am too. Are we going to be able to show them the teardown? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> They'll see the truck motor. Yeah. Oh man. Brad, how foobard is it? Too bad. Uh oh, they're fighting. <laughs> That wasn't me, that was the kids. So bad. Hey John, I wrote, wrote you a note this morning. What? This, this was our to-do list. We were making really good progress and then uh, that one happened. Yeah, yeah. Do you notice the spelling? It's Fuba, not Fubar for you uh, uh, northerner. Fuba. It's Fuba. So I got my uh, work section over here. We're gonna start tearing down the engine that came out of the Fox body. We're gonna be doing a Gen 3 short block swap. You hear a lot of people talking about it. We're gonna be going over it in detail in this video. We're gonna be tearing this down and we're gonna be putting the new Gen 3 short block right on that stand. And uh, yeah, should be a cool video. Uh, we're gonna see what the damage is on this guy. So let's get into it.
should be a little bit good. Side of the head, look. Uh, that's a broken piston. Yeah? Oh, I don't know. That valve is Oh. I have head in my hand. It's not a I'm sure you can fix it, but it's not a quick swap of room. Look at the cross hatching. This literally got a ball in the You want to know the crazy part, Andrew? Some of the walls are perfect. I know. <laughs> what the f is knocking on this thing the whole time? I think it's gonna be the same situation as your two valve, bro. If that rod. rod and the rod can't be cranked. It's gotta be broke. The rod has to be broken for the. Dude, the whole piston hit the f head. It's not like a rod. You know, what the rod stretch? They can do that. That much? But that that's basically the same as. A rod stretch is basically the same as a bend. Yeah. Ooh, how much money did you put on that? We didn't put any on yeah, it. Yeah, We didn't yeah. put any on it. They would have smoked more if it was a broken piston. The piston is just a crack. I mean, I think the rod just <laughs> Bro, I don't think this is a lean failure either. That's not melted piston. That's cracked piston. That's an indent. I don't even think it's a crack. To be honest, I think that's a dip in the head. Drink, is it oil drain? Yeah, it should be drained. Right, let's top the pan off. Still gonna spill much. Uh, the wrong model. Okay. <laughs> Son of a I'm glad I didn't bet money on that one. This better still be filming. Give me that, baby! Andrew. Too much Andrew. power. Stop motor would have held up better than this mother. Oh, it cranked us. Where'd that come from? Oh, it's probably just the lousy bolt that's right there. Oh, the pan's fucked up. How did we not notice that? Where? Right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Definitely. The hole in the pan. Dude! This is the first time I've... <laughs> I've ejected something. Well, it didn't fully... Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, I... I it's always your sh that is catastrophically if I'm gonna laugh if out of all of this, this block somehow walks away perfectly fine. Nah, bro, there's there's no way the is. I got a pile of oil pan, and I'll give you all that. Is there a hole in it? I think we have some. Yeah, but then the plumbing shit. How about that never leak? Can we talk about that? Never leaks. <laughs> oh! Here's the wrist pin. Um, the rod is gone. Ejecto Cito I have managed to totally f every coyote. <laughs> well, that's not a stock rod. I guess it wasn't a Gen 1 truck motor. Um, Although a Gen 1 truck motor probably would have held out better. It broke the rock clean. Holy sh Can we talk about how good this thing ran? Bro, can we, can we talk about Oh, I need to film a little bit. 
All right, so um, remember at the beginning of the video where I was talking about we're just gonna do a direct swap from this engine to the Gen 3? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, we got contact on the head. We got rod, ejecto seato cuz. We got wherever all of that came from. I called it to clarify. Andrew was willing to bet money. I said it's not I her, said her. Broken or bent rod. Hey, it still ran. It did run good. The blocks <laughs> cracked over here. We didn't even notice. Oh man, this thing's toast. Freaking toasted, dude. Look at this. Wow. Really toasted her pretty good. Um, you want to pop off the uh, pickup and we can look under the uh, the tray. The 10 mil and uh, 10. Are, are those 10? Yeah, 10s. I think what happened, because I've never seen this before in my life, the rod's not attached to the crank anymore. Yeah. These wouldn't just break. Maybe it backed out. I mean, there was like no contact on the head of this. What's that part? I'm lying. That's the other side. Hmm. I think I just gave Dude, that was not a catastrophic failure, like, noise. Yeah, but there was rod bearing. That was probably that uh, noise we've been hearing for this whole time now. Yeah. I mean, there was some heat in there. Oh, yeah. So this thing had rod knock from day one. Yeah, I mean, look at the heat. So, uh, total fake news about my theory, just to clarify. <laughs> yep. That's... Wow. So this thing didn't even make a bad noise or lock up or nothing. This is all junk. There's everything here can just go right in the trash. Yep. What rods are they? Well, let's find out. Okay, so um, there's definitely going to be a lack of oil pressure when that's uh, like that. Yeah. So. There's a crank bolt. Yeah, rod knock, bro. Look at how hot that bitch is. Look at how fucked the block is. Everything. Oh my god, look at the piston. Yeah, just go ahead and pop the piston out. <laughs> Bro. Use the proper tools, don't want to scratch anything here. That's in there. to my collection I still have my other rod I mean my other piston the other one was stock at least this is a uh, built <sighs> she's grenaded I think it's coming out now yeah. it's coming just make sure you don't drop it on the ground you wouldn't want to ding yeah, it up I don't want any fresh damage to it Yep, there she comes. Nice. Good splatters on. How's the rings? Would you believe me if I told you they were all perfect? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... There's damage from hitting the head on the piston. I don't think we had a lean failure. I think we had a rod bearing failure. Yeah, I, I agree. The motor always had noise. I think everyone heard it in the video, but we just assumed the motor, motor was built loose and had poor machining. Put it this way. But then we just opened, pulled the heads off for the first time and realized that uh, it's like completely stock cylinder bore, so the noise was not piston flat. With rod knock. What are these pistons? Um, manly or something? Yeah, it's a good one. Someone spent some money on this. Uh, Dang. Built very poorly, unfortunately. 
it had this noise since day one. Yep. It had uh, zero runtime pretty much when we bought the car. Yep. Granted, this motor has seen supercharger, nitrous, all motor, high RPM, and turbo. Literally every setup but a pro charger. And went 8.6. And on 20 pounds boost. Yep. Uh, it doesn't owe us anything. I'm not mad about it. I just wanted to race on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> hey, bud, I mean, I mean, if we can get some heads. You should find the picture of my other pirate <laughs> and insert it with this video. <laughs> See, I do a pro job of everything I own. <laughs> Yeah.